What is going on, everyone? It is Nick from Breaking the Clutch. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday, or I hope that you guys are making the best of your Monday, given the world we currently live in right now and the chaoticness that's going around. I hope you all stay safe and stay smart during these uh, difficult times for everyone. Um, before we get into today's video about the created, which real quick this is a halo wars 2 mod created by black and fan link to all of his information in the description down below um i think supporting this con or this mod maker is what we need right now in order to you know progress halo wars 2 forward i said this before in a separate mod video when um when we went over the flood in last week's video and today we're going to go over the created which real quick to touch on the created it's a really complicated faction it's obviously the one from halo 5 and cortana and warden eternal so they have a whole bunch of things under their umbrella covenant or x covenant so you could say elites brutes and grunts and all that stuff and then they've got prometheans under their belt they have ais they have sentinels uh it's a really wide range faction which makes it really fun to play as in this mod and i'll get to all that in just a little bit and you can see that um, black and van has created a mini base model for what the created you know kind of have and make them kind of make them unique to themselves and i kind of hope that this turns into the base itself like you kind of build off of that and turn it into the actual base so it's not just a unsc base but you know it takes everyone to support Black and Fan to see if we can get new models in the game and things like that. So again, all the information to that is in the description. And um, and before I get into you know the meat of the video, I want to say thank you guys so much because uh, yesterday Pat and myself were featured on the content creators on the rise, I think is what they call it, and uh, and it was an absolute pleasure and an honor to to be a part of that. Uh, we were on trending's tab for all of yesterday and i think as of this morning when i'm recording the video at 6 a.m eastern standard time we are still on the trending tab which has brought in a plethora of new subscribers and a ton of views and i just want to say thank you to youtube studios for you know making that possible and i want to say thank you to all of the new subscribers and i want to say welcome to anyone who is joining us for the first time we are a Halo channel. You will see a lot of Halo content coming from us. And uh, I hope you enjoy that because Halo was a big part of my life growing up, still is a massive part of my life. And uh, I think a lot of people feel that way as well. And this is kind of a little bit nostalgic for us. So we trying to keep the hope alive with Halo by continuing to make videos um, such as these. And before we get back into the topic of today, I want to say thank you guys to the people who stuck with us over you know the past few years in our transitioning periods from halo fps to halo wars to doing tourney videos to going offline for several months and taking a break from everything um, none of this could have been possible without you guys staying supportive so you know while i appreciate youtube studios and all the new subscribers that have come in it's really you guys the ones who have stuck with us f uh, you know that make any of this possible so um from the bottom of my heart and i know pat would agree with this thank you so much it means the world to us all right, enough sappy stuff. Let's get back into today's topic, which is obviously the created. Now, to preface everything with the created, I want to ask you guys to do a little homework. What would you do with the leader wheel for the created? Because I have some differing opinions on what could be um, part of the leader wheel with the created. For instance, uh, there's one leader ability on here that has something to do with the Kodiak Barrage and the Sentinels that come from the Kodiaks, and the created doesn't have Kodiaks in their arsenal, which, totally fine if they don't have it, but obviously um, you want to be able to m match the leader abilities with the uh, units that you have available to you as best you can. So, for instance, that's one thing I would take out. There's Boundless Fury in this thing. I mean, there is a uber unit of sorts with, with it drops in three sentinels that are extremely powerful uh that's the 12th leader ability and uh obviously boundless fury is disgusting we've seen that with decimus for the past three years so we all know what that's capable of glassing beam is on this one i mean there are some really destructive uh, leader abilities with this and because it's a created it's so unique that it brings in so many different um, it, It's a massive umbrella that brings in a bunch of different leader abilities Obviously f spanning human spanning covenant spanning banish and all that stuff um, so You know what would you guys do for the leader abilities because I think that's something that 
hasn't always been balanced in Halo Wars 2, just because glassing beam, obviously, and you know people will get upset maybe that uh, glassing beam I still think is extremely powerful. You shouldn't have to spend 400 bucks to destroy a, a mass army that costs you know thousands and thousands of of supply. But regardless of that, it's like you know we have a, a unique opportunity to kind of help Black and Fan or give some give some advice on like how to fine tune this thing he's you know he's working on it by himself for all I know and uh, and the community feedback is the most important thing And if you guys can help him fine tune some of these ideas then I think you know a lot of great things can be done in a short amount of time with this mod because I would love nothing more than to be able to host show matches and to be able to host honestly tournaments again because tournaments you know, time is very restricted these days for, for Pat and myself. We're in school, we're working, and we're trying to balance this and, you know, all the stuff that comes with life and this damn coronavirus now. But, you know, time's pretty restricted. But if we could possibly get a tournament going again, maybe just once every few months and, and uh, you know, try to give you guys cash prizes and like we used to, because I honestly, those were some of the most fun times I've had in Halo Wars is casting players who are actually good at the game instead of watching myself make the same mistakes over and over again in Halo Wars 2 but you know if we can help Black and Fan figure this thing out and work together as a community and if you guys support him um, not necessarily through just monetary means like through his Patreon which link down in the description but you know going on his discord and having a conversation with him and getting to know the community around the mods and all that I think we can we can really give Halo Wars 2 that second life that I really hope it gets. Um, I, if I recall, Pat and I had a conversation way back in the day about how StarCraft 2 got, you know, a second life that, that came from nothing. They sped up the game, um, I think, in StarCraft. And I'm not a StarCraft player, so I could be getting this wrong. But Pat was talking about how the game wasn't really, you know, booming, and then they sped up the game. And they increase the speed in which you can produce units, which maybe, you know, Black and Fan's onto something here with the amount of power and supply that you can get. And, you know, speeds up, ramps up the game instead of the slow buildup that Halo Wars 2, you know, kind of has in the beginning of the game. For most leaders, other than, you know, Atriox, who can, obviously, fortifications expand on very cheap um, income. And then you have Anders, who can reduce the amount to invest in her upgrades and then forge with rolling economy. Most of these other leaders you can't really do much with in the early part of the game. You either focus on building an army um, to, to fend off or to push an enemy, or you focus on building a base, or you compromise and build a little bit of units and then also expand. And, but, you know, I'm not here to say if the game should be sped up or anything, but I'm just saying that the ideas that, you know, can give Halo Wars 2 a second life include looking at things like that, looking at factions and adding you know a bunch of different leaders like what other leaders would you guys add if you could into halo wars 2 for instance we've got the flood right now with uh, black and fans mod we've got the creative which i think this is just the beginning of the creative i think this can be turned into something absolutely extraordinary and unique to you know most of the other leaders that are out there and then we've got the heretic which i'm going to do an, a video on in um in next week's video but i mean the don't even get me started on the heretic because they have a, a a unit called the beetle it's a locust but it looks awesome it's like a sword um it's like a sawed off fin at the front instead of just the rounded out beak that the locusts have but regardless i'm not i'm not even gonna get started on that because th that those units are absolutely awesome and they get me super excited to to play as the heretic but you know little things like that what other leaders would you pick um to run this game obviously we have the created so maybe cortana is not a possibility but you could break off and, and do something with that maybe a Didact. I know, you know, oof, I can't be talking about Forerunners or um, or Prometheans or anything like that, but, but maybe even something like Tartarus from Halo 2, maybe 343 Guilty Spark. I mean, the, the possibilities are really endless here, and it, while you, you know, the more leaders you add into a game, the more unbalanced it can be. Um, we're not necessarily restricted to that if you have modders. Um, there's not us going to 343 and pleading like, hey, Kinsano's firewall's broken or whatever, the case may have been in the past or you know forge forge hog obviously 300 percent broken as hell you know you don't have that timetable where you have to wait for it you can talk to the modders directly and you can try to like you know have a conversation with the mass majority of the players who play and, and understand the game and 
tr you know, have a conversation, figure out what's balanced, what's not balanced, what should be tweaked here. And, you know, adding more leaders would be, uh, wouldn't be as difficult if everyone was having that open conversation and trying to figure out what's best for the game instead of, you know, just a couple of people who are trying to figure out how the game should be best to be managed. So, you know, maybe, maybe too many leaders is a bad thing, but I think it's, it's an absolutely good thing as long as everyone is having a, an open conversation and, you know, trying to be as forthcoming as possible. So, let me know what you guys think about any of the, uh, you know, new leaders coming into the game. The creative just has my mind spinning on what can possibly be with this game. And, um, and I guess I'll leave it there. I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Again, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you again to all of you guys for the support over the past few years and to anyone who is new to the channel. We will be back tomorrow with a live commentary gameplay in threes this time around. Now we're going to have an in-depth analysis of the created. I didn't want to go you know, actually into the units and and, uh, and how they break down just yet. We're going to have Pat do that, and that's the Heavy Scorpion I was talking about. Absolutely awesome. Um, so, such a beautiful model. But I'll let Pat take that away this coming Friday, I believe. He'll be dropping an in-depth analysis of the created. For now, I just want to get the conversation started. Where would you guys take modding when it comes to Halo Wars 2? What leaders would you introduce? What would the leader wheel be for the leaders that you want to introduce? I mean, there's a lot of crazy awesome things that, that we can discuss so leave your comments down below hope you guys have a fantastic day stay safe out there and we'll see you guys tomorrow with another halo wars 2 live commentary
Hostiles, over. 